Good day everyone. Welcome to Asia L Artist and Body Care. I am Asia. For this video, I will be making a batch of my Malibu Beach Original Coconut Milk Soap. It is currently sold out, so I need to restock. Without further delay everyone, let's get into what you came here for. Before I get started, I want to say a big hello to all of my subscribers. Welcome new subscribers. And if this is your first visit, please take a moment to subscribe as well. Here I'm just showing you some of the ingredients that I prepped the night before. And these are my two blue colors. The other ingredient was one of my favorites, which is colloidal oatmeal. And then I'm going to add my soft oils to my melted hard oils. Malibu Beach is definitely one of my top selling soaps. I also make the scent in my Spectacular Body Butter and I also make it in a dry oil spray. And of course it is inspired by the actual Malibu Beach whenever possible. Um, I love to go there with a big beach towel and an umbrella and of course some SPF and just read a book or take a nap and just enjoy like the beautiful ocean sounds and the smell of the sea. It's just really, really peaceful. And in the comments, I want to know what is one of your favorite places to visit, whether it's on vacation or in your neighborhood, what's one of the places you like to go to just kind of relax and get away from like, you know, technology and the world and just have a peaceful moment to yourself. Here I'm just adding my light water solution to my melted oils. Each time I make the Malibu Beach soap, I use the exact same recipe that I use for all of my coconut milk soaps. The only thing I change is the actual design. The blues are always the same. I just kind of play around with what, with the color, making it lighter or darker with a little bit of uh, TV. And for this design, I wanted it to look as if there was water washing onto the sandy beach. So for the lighter portion of the soap, I will add some colloidal oatmeal to kind of give it like a sandy look. And then I'm going to have um, some of the soap separated into two parts so I can make two different blue colors to mimic some kind of like an ocean effect coming onto the sandy beach. So enjoy the video and let's see how it turns out. Let's see if my idea comes to fruition or how well it comes to fruition. I'll be back in a moment with more notes on this soap. For this batch, I prepped all of my ingredients the night before and I began soaping at 6.30 a.m. because I knew I had a few batches to make. This is the first of the batches that I made. And I'm soaping at room temperature. It is my preferred temperature to soap my uh, when I make coconut milk soaps. And my batter it tends to be on the thick side. I, it doesn't stay loose very long. So usually when I have a design in mind, I usually have what I want to do and then I have my backup design in mind um, based on what I'm able to do depending on how thick the batter becomes as I'm making the soap.
Once I poured off my two portions to make the two blue colors, I added just a bit of TD to the base of the soap and some organic colloidal oatmeal because this is the part of the soap that I want to mimic the look of sand. So I blended it with the spatula, my handy dandy spatula, and then a little bit uh, also with the stick blender, but not so much that it would disappear into the batter. I also noticed while editing that for this portion of the video, uh, my bowl is almost halfway out of frame, so I have to be really mindful of that in future videos to make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing. After blending the base of the soap, I poured it into the mold, tapped out some of the air bubbles, and put it off to the side so that I could blend my two blue colors. And as you'll see in a moment, my batter became pretty thick, and so I decided I would just hand mix my color in and proceed with doing my drop swell design. So the conundrum for me when I make my soap is that I like to take my time and just really enjoy the process, but uh, the recipe for my batter creates a batter that tends to thicken up really fast. So when I do drop swirls, I have to stand pretty much on my tippy toes or sometimes I'll stand like on a ladder because I like to get like really small streams of the soap into my batter. I find that that creates a really beautiful effect once the soap is cut. As I reached the end of the batter, I decided to combine all of the colors and create sort of an in the pot swirl effect. I didn't want to risk there being clumps of color on the top of the soap, so I figured if I mix all the colors, uh, as you see here, it would further convey the look of water.
so I was just so determined to make sure this soap looked like water and so I decided to add the darker blue to the remaining base of the soap and then just uh, spoon that onto the top. For the top of the soap, I ventured away from my usual swirly twirly and I found this tool on Amazon. It's actually meant to help you cut fruits and vegetables, sort of like onions and tomatoes and apples just to make it um, an easier task. But I figured it was a good tool to create some kind of like a zen garden look or a beach wave look on the top of the soap. And so I just kind of played around with it a little bit and eventually I settled on a design that I think made the soap look really cool. If only I had a lovely singing voice, I would burst out singing End of the Road by Boys to Men. But I don't, so I won't. <laughs> so I refrigerated this soap for about 17 hours. I love the top of the soap. It really does remind me of like wavy, ripply water at the beach. And you can see the colloidal oatmeal gives the base of the soap that sandy look. The two blues intermingle really, really well. So uh, I think this is a really beautiful rendition of Malibu Beach Coconut Oil Soap. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And if you like this video, and as you know, I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thank you so much, everyone. Also, before I forget, I want to thank all of you who sent me birthday wishes this past weekend. I appreciate it so much. Uh, it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So thank you for that. Have a great, great day, everyone. See you soon.